you know, for me, one of the things that I've been focusing on lately is happiness. And that my happiness really, it really doesn't have anything to do with the challenges that are coming, the unexpected challenges that may, you know, come up tonight. It doesn't really have to, anything to do with my happiness. Like, I know where my happiness comes from. It comes from inside, not external. And so I think pain, understanding that there's going to be pain, like when, when an obstacle arises, when a big challenge is your face, you lose your job, it's going to be pain. And to understand that that's normal and you should feel that pain, like that's it's your body's natural way of reacting and, and there's a big difference between pain and suffering. And so that pain is there to show you like, hey, this is bad, like, hey, this is not good or hey, this is dangerous, but suffering is what you do on the inside, playing over and over and over again through that situation that created that pain. And that suffering is what will steal your happiness. And so for me, like, the first thing is just perspective, but like, right or wrong, good or bad, who's to really say what's what? It's all subjective. But I have so much peace within knowing that right or wrong, good or bad, I get to control what makes me happy and I can be happy in the worst of situations externally because I get to choose happiness. And if I have a choice, if I can choose whether I wanna be happy or miserable, given these external factors, given these challenges, given these, you know, a loss of a job or a breakup or a, you know, a business partner does something, like if I can choose happiness or misery in that situation, why on earth would I ever choose misery? I think it's the only important thing is figuring out what actually makes you happy and then building the lifestyle and figuring out the monetary side of what it takes to get that lifestyle yeah. where you're happy. Um, but I think that that comes just with that clarity of understanding what does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Like what, what car is it? What house is it? What area of town? Like getting super, super specific uh, on all those things. Um, and I'm a big visualization person. Oh, yeah. And and to me, it's it's going through a process of really, really visualizing what you want. Um, also with gratitude, being grateful for those things that you don't have yet, uh, as though they already exist. Uh, and then another thing that Gary Vee always talks about is you know, the fact that like if you're making $100,000 now doing something you don't like, but you could go make $60,000 doing something you like, it all comes down to your happiness and fulfillment, right? Like it, it may make more sense for you to make way less money, but be happy in what you're doing on a daily basis. If you think about how much time we spend in our careers, it's like a third of your day, which ultimately ends up being a third of your life. Is it worth doing something that you don't like doing just for a little bit of extra money at the end of the month? My focus is on happiness. Mm -hmm. Because I know a lot of people that make 75 grand a year and they have tons of time off and they spend an incredible amount of time with their family and they're at, they're coaching every league that their yeah. kids are in and they're extremely happy. And I know a ton of wealthy, wealthy, wealthy people that are miserable. And so I think it's figuring out what scenario that you can put your yourself in, what lifestyle you can put yourself in that's ultimately going to make you happy. It may take a lot of money to get to that lifestyle or it may not. Um, but I think there's a lot of people out there that are chasing after a dollar amount that could be way happier yeah. slowing down a little bit and realizing that, Hey, I don't, I don't really need that to be happy. I really like want to spend time with my family. And that's what gives me so much peace every single day, knowing that like whatever happens today is going to happen. I'm going to be happy regardless. I'm just going to do my thing and, and, and not worry about those things which causes the anxiety and which causes more pain and it's just a, a wheel. Uh, but I think to be able to choose happiness regardless is super, super empowering.